Sandal Castle. Now a mere ruin in the landscape, but once would have been a large, thriving structure surrounded by a moat and a bailey. Built in the early 12th century, the castle stands in a commanding position near the city of Wakefield, overlooking the River Calder. In 1317, Sandal Castle was attacked and captured by Thomas, Earl of Lancaster, and it stayed in the hands of royalist landowners, such as the de Warrens, until 1361. In 1459, the peace between the Lancastrian Henry VI and York, Richard Duke of York, broke. Yorkist commander Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, defeated the Lancastrians at the Battle of Northampton, 1460, and captured Henry. The Yorkists tried to persuade Parliament to denounce Henry and make Richard the new king. Parliament refused. However, they did pass an Act of Accord, an agreement reinstating Richard, Lord Protector, and heir to the king, which Queen Margaret, Henry's wife, opposed to and raised an army at Pontefract Castle. Richard moved north to deal with the new Lancastrian threat. He was situated at Sandal Castle when the Battle of Wakefield commenced, the battle taking place at Wakefield Green below the castle. On the 30th of December, 1460, the castle surrendered when Richard, the Duke of York, fell in battle, meaning the castle suffered no damage, but it was left in disrepair. After the death of Richard, his eldest son Edward assumed both the mantle of Duke of York and the attempt to seize the throne. In 1484-5, Richard III ordered building works on Sandal Castle to make a permanent household in the north. However, his defeat at Bosworth in 1485 brought an end to further development of the castle. Throughout the 15th to the 16th century, the castle was left unoccupied, until it was briefly refortified by Royalist garrison in 1645 during the Civil Wars. The occupation, however, only lasted a few months and the castle surrendered on the 1st of October 1645. In 1646, the castle was stripped of its defences on the orders of Parliament and has been left to turn into the ruin we see today.